I grew up in, in Portland, um, there wasn't a lot of Asians like immediately around me. I had, you know, my family and friends at church and stuff, but then like at school, I was like one of the very few. And so I don't, I don't really see myself. I, I see myself more as white. Like now I've come to a point where I've embraced who I am and, and a lot of the stereotypes I still fulfill somehow. And, um, but yeah, when I go out for auditions, I'm not, unless it's very specifically like Asian or whatever, um, you know, I bring myself to it, which is just, you know, it's not very specifically Asian in a lot of things. I went to, I went to film school. I was, uh, and, and that's still part of my desire is I'd like to be directing eventually. And then I just put myself in them because I had some acting experience and I enjoyed it and it was easy. At the school, they show that to a lot of the incoming freshmen in like the storytelling class. And then uh, I'd had people my senior year come up, freshman students, and they'd say, hey, you're the Raptor guy. <laughs> and I guess, I guess I am. <laughs> some friends just got some stuff together and they basically shot a feature in like a week and a half or so. We did it at night, all night shoots. <laughs> it was, uh, it was an experience. For my own sake, <laughs> the sanity of the character, they're the same person, <laughs> just so there's continuity. Um, but actually what happened was that student number two was an upgrade. I was doing background on the show and I'd worked it for a long time and they got to know me and they eventually gave me an upgrade and they gave me those lines. Me and six other people actually that day, they upgraded. Um, it was amazing. And so, you know, I thought it went well and people, everyone told me good job and everything. I was like, cool, cool. Then I get a call, of course, two months, maybe two months later, um, and actually the, it was a second um, AD. She called and she said, "Hey, I wanted to call you and let you know personally that they're gonna cut your scene." And then they said that, "You know what? We all saw your Carfax commercial and we saw how well you did in that, so we're gonna try to bring you back and make it up to you." And so that's how Bo came about. Actually, it was that uh, Brenda, the the executive, she wrote me in. I mean, I'm guessing she wrote me because the character's name was Bo. And uh, yeah, so they basically just, I didn't audition or anything and they had me come in for that. That was amazing. Um, it was just a lot of exposure. It ran for about two years straight on like all sorts of, uh, a lot of the sports stuff, like uh, during the NBA playoffs and stuff, it ran a lot. So a lot of people I think noticed and, you know, and you know, they say like commercials don't really help that much as far as theatrically. Uh, but I think like you said that it, it has been helping just because there is that exposure and it does show you off as a regular guy more than it would as like, hey, I help people find the car and all that stuff. And then that's the thing about commercials is that they're geared towards real people, you know? And right. so they want to put real people on camera, people that would be buying these things and shopping here and there and yeah. <laughs> would be Asian guys, right? Right. Like <laughs> they do normal stuff too. There's no proof of my body in there because I got cut from that as well. Um, there's, I, I have a video of me watching and I'm like, here it comes, this is me, this is me. And then what? that was supposed to be me. And then, <laughs> you know, you that's always fun. You get cut, right? That's true, you do. So I'm, I'm not complaining. And I shot an episode of, of NCIS LA um, in, around May. And that's actually gonna air next, this month. It's gonna air on the 22nd and uh, I have a little part in that. I'm like one of two techies. <laughs> and uh, um, we're like kind of crushing on um, Renee Jones, Renee Felice Jones, she's one of the main characters. And we like try to flirt with her in a really nerdy way. And it's, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> I had a good time. Actually, Larry Tang um, was the director of that episode and he's Asian. And so that was kind of cool to see that. And was like, hey, and, and you know, he has a lot of credit, you know, a lot of credibility. Um, People respect him a lot, so that was really cool. I recently kind of transitioned, at least my mindset, into being, um, you know, I would like to be making films again, and so I don't know if you saw a little sketch I did called Vince Do Acting, and that's totally embracing the stereotypes and stuff. It. Okay, so yeah, I play a, a very, a fob character. His name is Vince, or as he says, Pinze, and um, he's auditioning for a part, and. Um, he's just a really goofy guy. 